everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name is Caitlin, welcome. And today I am updating my Project 10 uses. So this always has such amazing progress in this project. I always manage to roll in so many new products and today I am rolling in four new goodies to get 10 uses on. I love this project just because I do so many project pans that a lot of my collection does often go neglected so having just a 10 use goal makes it very very easy for me to play around with my collection things that have maybe been neglected things that I maybe don't want to put a finish goal on just play around with them see how I like them get to know them a little bit more or maybe just because I fancy it <laughs> so I have a great update like I said also if you were wondering about this eye look this is probably one of the best eye looks I've done in a very very long time I have done a short tutorial on this look you will see it live on my channel as you're watching this it went live on the 20th of August so go and look on my channel for that you do not want to miss it I love this look I love it and I, I just had to film a video with it today. So I'm gonna jump straight into the products, but just before we do, if you have not already, definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I do so many project pans, shop my stashes and get ready with me's, normally with bright fun, colorful makeup like we are wearing today. I have used my Project Level Up palette today. It is the Wilderness palette. And you guys were saying, I would love to see a green and orange look with the wilderness palette that's what I've done today kind of bluey green but you know what it's still green <laughs> I heard it and I was like oh yeah green and orange I'm doing that and um yeah I, I I just love it I can't stop looking at myself in the monitor I love this look okay let's get into it so the first product a little bit of a letdown a little bit this is my Colourpop lippy sticks in the shade jam sesh it is a bright red lipstick and unfortunately I have not used it this month which means I am still on three uses for this obviously out of ten everything in this project is ten uses so yeah not not too great with that but you know what red lips are something like they're an occasion thing aren't they I can't just throw a red lip on every day I need to feel it I need to be in the mood I just haven't been in the mood hopefully I'll get a few more uses on this in the next month but I'm not forcing myself that's the beauty of this project I can just go kind of slowly take my time with things no stress and uh, yeah I just love it for that so unfortunately no more uses on jam sesh but that's okay next I have the Colourpop cream gel liner in the shade amethyst hour so this month I have used this two times for a total of three uses in the project again pretty slow going I am starting to do more pinky tone looks as well just like trying to incorporate some shades from my uh, pan that palette and also a pink eyeshadow was rolled into my pan those eyeshadows project as well this month so this I'm sure will have a lot more use in the coming month just as I'm playing around with those tones the past few months I have really been working on like orangey tones just because they have been flooding my project pans recently so it's been a little bit difficult to get use on this but I'm sure now that pinks are starting to come in I will use this a lot more okay talking of orange this is the Colourpop cream gel liner in peach fuzz I've used this five times this month for a total of 10 uses in the project so this is going to be rolling out this I actually surpassed 10 uses on this. I used this so much, it was ridiculous. As I said, oranges have been flooding my project pans, so this was such a nice thing to pair with them. It made my eyes really, really like wide. They made them look really wide and it was so, so, so nice. I don't think I'd used this uh, before this project, so it was really nice to get use out of it. And uh, yeah, I really like it. Next is a product that I've also learned to absolutely love. This is Colourpop I Heart This. They've all been Colourpop so far, haven't they? That's so interesting. This is what this looks like. It is so beautiful. And if you watched my Pan That Palette update, you will know that I have actually been working on Warm Taupe from my Modern Renaissance palette. This goes beautifully with that for like everyday looks for, you know, meeting my boyfriend's parents and like things like that. This has been incredible. Just for days, I want to put warm taupe on with a little bit of glitter. 
it's been beautiful. So I have used this three times this month for a total of eight uses in the project. We have a few more uses to go, but I really don't think that will be an issue. I really think this will be rolled out by next update because I love it. Every time I use it, I just get this happy feeling inside. So uh, I'm, I'm more than happy to be playing around with this for another month. Next we have Miami Sun from the Pastel Roses. This is like a neon yellow loose pigment. I've used this twice this month for a total of three uses in the project. I have noticed I've been rolling in a lot more difficult products, which is interesting. So things like pigments and stuff like that, they're very, very hard to hit 10 uses on, but I've actually been loving the challenge. I love this shade so much. I was gonna say especially for summer, but in the UK we've just had rain, so it's been kind of hard to use this because it's been so miserable outside. It's it's really dank. <laughs> but this just brings a pop of life to some of my looks. I've loved using it, playing with it, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to more creative looks that I can do with this. This definitely pushes me to be more creative with my looks as well. Sometimes I can get in a bit of a makeup rut and and I just do the same look over and over again, but these kind of products really push me and my creativity, which I love. So we are still working on this, and I'm not complaining one bit. Another thing that's very, very similar, this is Lyra from the Pastel Roses. It is like a, oh, I don't even know how to describe this. It's like a flaky pigment, but it's like duochrome or like multi-chrome. It's got like orange and green and pink in it. It is so, so beautiful. I've done one look with this this month, which might not seem like a lot, but I think it's something quite difficult to reach for. Again, I'm loving the challenge though. So I've used this a total of three times in this project so far, so a long way to go. But as I said, I'm loving it. Next, we have another rollout. This is Morphe for Evs. This is like a cool tone nude lipstick. So this month we have used it six times for a grand total of 10 uses in the project. This went really well if I wanted to do more like blue tone looks just because I am working on a lot of very warm tone lipsticks right now So I just wanted something a little bit more cool tone to pair with those cool tone looks I'm glad I did because this was a lifesaver on multiple occasions. I love this so much I would like to finish this soonish. by soon. I'm probably thinking like next year now but um, I'm, I'm loving it. Really, really happy with this. Really happy to have hit the 10 uses. Next is another rollout. This is my Urban Decay Hydro Maniac. And this is where we start the products that I rolled in last month. So in one month, I used this 10 times. I learned that I could mix this with my AOA concealer because my AOA concealer is a little bit too dark for me. And this is very, very light, as you can see. So I mix it under my eyes with my concealer and it makes the perfect shade. That AOA concealer is also very, very high coverage and very, very thick. This is very, very hydrating and very, very like light kind of coverage. So they mix very, very well together and make just a combination that is so beautiful under my eyes. I've loved using it for that. I did not realize that I would love it for that, but honestly, I really do. I'll probably continue using it like that as well, just because I am trying to finish my AOA concealer this year. So if I compare it with this, that would be amazing. So yeah, this has hit 10 uses and we are rolling out. Next was my Ofra Format Bronzer and I rolled this into the project because you can see the rings on this are insane like i am ready to hit pan any minute now so we've used it four times this month for four times in total it was rolled in last month as you can see no pan yet but we do have an additional six uses to try i really hope we can hit pan in that time because every time i use it it's like this is laughing at me it's like are you gonna hit pan? Are you gonna hit pan? No, you're not. No, you're not. So I really hope that we can uh, conquer this, hit pan in it, and that would be so satisfying as well to have pan in this project. So this is staying in an additional six uses. And finally, this is my collection matte primer, and we have used this 10 times this month, of course, to hit our 10 use goal. I've loved having a little bit of a different primer in. I'm working on my Ofra Cool as a Cucumber, which is very, very, very hydrating and like glowy almost. So for those like kind of hot days, it's been nice to have a matte primer, especially as well, because I am working on my NYX Born to 
glow foundation so it kind of just like tones it down a little bit makes me a little bit less greasy throughout the day it's been really really lovely to play around with this and because it is a very new product in my collection as well so it's always nice to get good uses out of those things so yeah 10 uses rolling out so that means four new products rolling in i'm so excited to share them with you guys and uh, yeah let's jump into it so the first one this has actually been in this project before but then it kind of got neglected so i'm bringing it back again so hopefully it doesn't get neglected this is my collection glam crystals in the shade 16 cosmic stars this is such a beautiful little glitter. It's like a liquid glitter. It's got like pink and blue and green and yellow little like glittery bits in it. It's so gorgeous. It reminds me a lot of Colourpop Ice Dream, the Super Shock Shadow. So yeah, 10 uses on this, just a little bit of a pick me up just to make sure it's not neglected for too long. I could have worn it in this look today, but I did this look before I picked my products. So I'm Unfortunately, missed an opportunity there, but I'm really excited to pair this with a lot of like cool tone kind of looks. I think it'll go really, really well with my Wilderness palette because I do have that teal row left to hit my goals on. So yeah, I'm really excited to get some use out of this. Next, we have a powder. I've actually hit all of my goals for powder in other projects. So I'm gonna roll in my She Glam Insta Ready Powder. This I use for traveling all the time. It's got a pressed powder on the top and a loose powder here on the bottom. So it is perfect for everything that you can desire. I love this so much, but unfortunately I do not support She Glam. I would like to finish this maybe next year. That would be amazing. And then I can get this out of my collection. I do class She Glam as non-cruelty free because even though they don't test on animals, their working conditions for their workers is definitely classed as cruel in my opinion. So I would like to get this out of my collection when I can. So I just thought 10 use goal, pretty easy and a pretty like decent start as well. Next is this P. Louise eye base in the shade Yummy Yellow. As I said before, I am working on so many orange eyeshadows right now. It is very overwhelming. So I just thought maybe if I want to do a cut crease with them, this would be amazing. It will also go really, really well with these two pigments too. So I thought, you know what? Why not? throw this in as well. I think it'll be a really, really good match. And uh, yeah, 10 uses, I think won't be too bad. It does get neglected quite a lot just because the pigment on this isn't there really. But um, we'll see, we'll see how we get on with this. And finally, if you've seen a lot of my kind of shorts tutorials or my get ready with me's, you will know that I adore black eyeshadows and a lot of people are very scared of black eyeshadow. So this is a black eyeshadow that I've kind of been working on on and off. And I want to hit 10 uses on this and hopefully expand this pan. I did use it in my look today, which is it's just so beautiful. I would like to eventually finish this eyeshadow which would be amazing if we could do that I'm so 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 excited to try and finish it but for right now I think 10 uses is enough so yeah that is my little update for you guys today I hope you did enjoy it if you did definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me I had a little bit of a subscriber mishap recently I gained like 150 subscribers in a day and then like I just lost all of them so I don't really know what's happened there um I don't know so I've been a little bit sad really I've been a little bit upset just because I thought that I'd gained a lot of subscribers and obviously I hadn't um so yeah subscribe because it would make me happy <laughs> and you'll get to see loads more beautiful eye looks and a lot more project pan progress as well so um help a girl out <laughs> I hope you all have an absolutely incredible day and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Okay, bye.